Hello, visionaries. Hey. Welcome back. Good. Just a second. Mm. Cut. Well, hello, visionaries. Hey there. <laughs> hey there. So here we are. Last week, we sold Vinny, as you know. If you didn't know that, then you need to go back and watch uh, yes. last week's video, and we'll sit here and we'll wait. Just <laughs> go ahead, go watch. We'll wait. <laughs> It's amazing how you get attached to a non-living thing, a piece of equipment. Right. Your home. That's why. Right, yeah. Because it's your, it's your home. home. So now we've been here in the cabin for one week. Looks like we're only going to have to be here for two weeks. You guessed it because we found an RV. It's not going to be a drivable. It is going to be a pull behind. We're not going to do any spoiler alerts. When we unpacked, we just kind of took everything out and <laughs> threw it here in the cabin and go through it when we uh, right. put it in the uh, new RV and then we'll go through everything, throw away some stuff, right? Yes. And uh, do our organizing then and buy some bins and stuff that'll fit perfectly in mm -hmm. the uh, cubby holes yep. that we have and go from there. Our tour of the mess. This was the final product of uh, throwing uh. everything in here. <laughs> Thrown clear back in the corner of the bunks, on the floor, underneath the bunk, on the table, under the table. <laughs> this is my workstation. He gets to sit on this nice hardwood chair. Yeah. Um, and amongst all of our other junk. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's not junk. It's just disorganized things right now. Yeah. Just remember, it's temporary, right. but at least with this uh, laptop sitting on this lap desk, I can pick the whole thing up, move it if yeah. we want to use the table for eating supper. But look at what you're close to. He gets to be near the liquor. We have lots of liquor. That was a full bottle yesterday. Just yeah. kidding. Then, of course, we've got Michelle's workspace. <laughs> Isn't that such a nice workspace? Look, look, look. A nice soft chair for her too. Gosh, honey. How did you get so lucky? Because my wonderful husband set up a makeshift desk but keep in mind I still have like two big monitors hopefully we'll get a setup next time where I can have a couple monitors which would be nice we're yeah. we're thinking about getting rid of these well not getting and, rid of them yeah I'm going with the well, portable mean, monitors yeah did you notice anything about this bar here does it look like it's bowing any to you <laughs> well that's not all of Michelle's clothes though so. This, this this is mine. Hers is kind of packed in here a little bit. We've got clothes down below. Way in there. Bags full. Yeah. If you haven't okay. noticed, we tease each other a lot. We have fun. And uh, a couple of my shorts hanging here along with more of her clothes. <laughs> yep, yep, that's right. Hey, that's more of Michelle's seasonal. clothes. They're seasonal. Seasonal. Mm -hmm. Or they're getting seasoned. Well, would you like to know more about what we had to go through with oh. getting our new RV. We don't have a name for the RV yet. Maybe no. you guys can help with that. Maybe. Maybe. We got our hummingbird feeder up there. You can hear him chirping back there. And one chirping up in the tree. Oh, there he is. You can see him up at the top of the palm. It's beautiful out here. God, it's gorgeous right now. No wonder everybody, including us, likes to winter here in Palm Springs. Yeah like to try to switch it up every other year. We are kind of partial to the Florida Keys too. Yeah. This was a busy week. Very busy. We had two RVs that we were looking at. One, the guy is selling the truck with it. And uh, that was very tempting uh, because it was a good deal too. We, we felt it was a pretty good deal. But the problem with that is... <laughs> hey. We still have Sunny Sonata, so right. we have to try selling Sunny on the side. So <laughs> sell Sunny on the side. Sell Sunny on the side on a sunny, shiny day. Yeah. Here in Southern <laughs> California, <laughs> no, it doesn't work. In the meantime, if we don't get Sunny sold right away, Michelle will have to still follow behind in in the car. Yeah. Sunny. Shiny Sunny. <laughs> One of the biggest hurdles we had to get across this week was. Well, trying to find which RV we wanted to go with, 
and that entailed searching across the country mm -hmm. trying to find the right truck. There were two different RVs and we weren't sure which one we wanted to go with. We thought we wanted to go with the one so we were searching to see you know what kind of truck we could find and the dealership was giving us quotes. We waited all weekend long and then finally on Monday he said he was going to get back to us. It didn't. I followed up with him and he said oh we're so sorry. That truck coming in was for another customer. Yeah. So at that point we just gave up and we said it's a sign and we're going with this other truck and RV because we don't have much time left. We got to get this ball rolling. <laughs> so that's where we are with that. But we didn't settle. It was one of the top options. Yeah. We just settled for the other one of the two yeah. options that we had. Our insurance. Oh yeah. The rig and the... Vehicles. In the truck. Yeah. So we actually had pretty good insurance. Um, you know, on Vinny and our car and everything. Yeah, we um, did. We just had a few questions about it. Right. And decided to go with this other company because... Um, we just felt like the insurance was a little bit better. We, we, yeah. we felt more comfortable with the coverages that they were given. We had a little bit extra coverage too. Yeah. Even though it was $40 a month more, we decided just to go ahead and do it and pay for it. Just to give us that peace of mind. And that's based on because we did do a quote with our current company on the truck same truck an rv of course so that's not forty dollars more than what we were paying that's forty dollars more than the quote on the new rig and with truck, the truck yeah. yeah and uh speaking of insurance we also looked into changing domiciles right to florida instead of south dakota and the insurance came back almost really close to being double yeah that uh Pretty much killed that idea. Yeah, I think we're gonna stay with South Dakota yeah. for a while. <laughs> yeah, South Dakota's fine. So, this coming week, I may have to go down and get the truck and RV by myself. If everything works out all right, Michelle might fly down with me. Yeah. But it'll have to be on the weekend. Right, yeah, it's all uh, the timing thing. We'll see. It would be nice to if we both could go pick up our new child. <laughs> we're thankful yep. to Thousand Trails that we're able to stay in, right here in the same park. Right. Transfer everything over, sell Vinny, right. stay here and, until we get our new RV, pull the new RV up next to the cabin here and load it up and, and just stay here. Yeah. That's what our week has been like and what we're expecting for next week. Hopefully everything will go smooth, we'll go get it, we won't have any problems on the way back, but if it does, so be it. That's kind of a, kind of a natural thing with RV life, right? Or just life. <laughs> <laughs> life in general, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you do come to the Palm Springs area, we were here two years ago and uh, we did quite a few things then and we're finding out there's a lot to do still that we haven't done right. but some of the biggest things that stood out that we highly recommend is uh, one is the palm springs aerial tramway right that was awesome it was amazing experience Maybe. and views yeah it was uh, it was just gorgeous there was snow too at the time mm -hmm. event, wasn't there at the top yep i think it's like an eight and a half minute ride up it doesn't sound long but it sure seemed like it took like a half hour it right. seems really long and it rotates so you get a, a 360 view yeah it's really cool and it's neat to see the changes as you're going up people bring their snowboards up there and you can actually hike once you get up there on some trails one of our most memorable hikes was our very first hike at indian canyon right i just loved it with all the california fan palms it was really neat to read all the history there about the um, Agua Caliente band of Kula Indians. It was really a beautiful mm -hmm. hike. Very. Very beautiful. And then we went to the Living Desert Zoo, which was unlike any zoo that we've ever been to. A, a living desert zoo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Usually don't go to a zoo in the desert. Right. But it was really neat. It's definitely worth a stop. There's yeah. a few other hikes that we haven't been on right. yet. And definitely go see that Joshua Tree National oh Park. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. We've always heard about it and I don't know why, but nobody's really given us 
any indication that it was that beautiful before when we've talked to him. Right. We just thought it was this big flat desert yeah. with some Joshua trees yeah. sticking out. And I was like, well, that doesn't sound very interesting. <laughs> not until recently. I don't know who it was that... That was Kim and Dave. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. They um, pretty much told us how beautiful it was. And then we're like, okay, well, we have to go now. Yeah. And we were planning on going that very weekend, yeah. too. It was yeah. ironic that they mentioned that. That's about all we have. And uh, make sure, if you could please, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's no spam sent. You just subscribe, and it helps us out. And we really appreciate it. We do. And also, give this video a thumbs up. See you guys next week. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.